and it just gets better and better especially this ridge where I have been walking for the past 500 meters you can enjoy the scenery this is why you want to do this trail welcome to the smart travel family youtube channel and the tour of the tf9 trail in Anoka rural park in Tenerife so today we are doing the trail from Las Carboneras to Taborno to uh, Afur village and I highly recommend it particularly for this particular section here this picturesque ridge that you saw at the start of the video so the Las Carboneras village center is behind me and we are at the official start of the trail quite unobtrusive there is also a place marker as we are descending from the village short note how these videos work is I try to make a, a clip about every kilometer or so or at no worthy spots this one will be no exception you can see that the scenery is beautiful if there is something like that I will try to show it to you in the past traffic between Carbonera and uh, Taborno villages was quite heavy so the path is quite well upkept so you can see these stone uh, steps these are also used in ancient times and it's a pleasure to walk on this trail is officially qualified as of medium uh, difficulty but i'm doing it in january and on a rainy day and it's quite walkable so you also shouldn't run into any difficulty when taking it you're very goal oriented still every once in a while take a look at, at your back this is around 450 meters from the village and there is this very nice panorama of where you came from and also the Roque de Borno in the background. One kilometer, you will have descended about 80 vertical meters towards the valley, not nowhere near uh, the floor of it, but you will end up on a road like this. Also, you will be in sort of some uh, brushland, uh, small forest. The path continues to be very well maintained and also pay attention to your sides you will see these uh, rock walls here the leading theory is that these have been made by guanches for agriculture and for uh, sort of mountain uh, preservation purposes so it's interesting that we are still benefiting from them several hundreds or maybe even thousands of years later trails in Tenerife and especially in Anaga are very well marked so if you are ending up at crossroads don't panic sometimes there is no such sign there but just look for the next place where there is this uh, yellow and white flag and that's your path but I also warmly suggest that you use the navigation app as backup because in every trail there are at least one or two spots where you really cannot easily locate the markers and me and other hikers have several times weird off for the path of the path sometimes for kilometers one and a half kilometers and take a look at your back there is the Carboneras village behind us so you can see where we came down to and we are now ascending to the Borno village and the path continues to be superb the minerals change but the path is very sturdy two kilometers in the trail i hope you can see something in the background we ascended from the valley so we are now almost as high as las carboneras uh, five more kilometers still to go but we should pretty soon be in the uh, taborno village at 2.5 kilometers you will reach the taborno village it's also interesting by itself but it's mostly noteworthy because it's the start of the excellent circular tour tour around the uh, Roque de Taborno uh, quite a nice impression something like two and a half three kilometers well worth doing but we are not doing that today we are continuing on our trail up the trail we go and as you see TF2 goes up to Pico del Inglés where there is this really picturesque road carved into stone rock at and TF9 continues for three and a half kilometers to Afur in the Borno village if the last kilometer was in forest then here again you are rewarded with a beautiful view the kilometer mark the scenery continues the forest somewhere behind that ridge there and there is the uh, quite flat trail here this has been like that since the village for about 500 600 meters and it looks that it will continue for a while here One of those trails that have these little caves here i assume these were for shepherds or travelers who wanted to hide from rain as you are coming up this ridge at the three and a half kilometer mark you are in for a treat a superb view <laughs> probably the best panorama of the whole hike trail meter four of the trail and it just gets better and better especially this ridge where I have been walking for the past 500 meters 
you can enjoy the scenery. This is why you want to do this trail. Otherwise, it's nothing special, but this is the cherry on the top. And I would say this definitely uh, puts the trail on those hikers who are having more time on the island to do list. At the 4.3 kilometer mark, we are arriving at this settlement. Uh, pay attention if there's a cross road doesn't go that way in the trail. You have to look for the flag or the sign. So it's right here, so we continue downhill. To descend this path at the four and four and a half kilometer mark, the steps continue to be very nice. And you also get to see some cave houses. These are quite typical around villages in Hanaga. This is no exception. So there is like a more recently built house but behind it, there is one that's in the rock. At the five kilometer mark, the sun has come up, so it's much more sunnier and nicer, also hotter, and there is this lovely descent to the valley. This is quite a rare sight for the island. You rarely get to see such open rock formations. Kilometer before Afur and 5.2 kilometers in the trail, you will reach this settlement. I couldn't find its name, but it's a nice example of uh, cave houses. Yeah, they of course have been extended in the modern times, but you can see probably here that initially they were totally submerged in the rock. This is very typical for Anaga and it's something that you should be aware of. So you can now take it off your box with this trail in this cave house uh, village and in case if you will not take the TF10 or 11 trails here you can see what the Chinamari caves look like so they are very similar and you will in those trails probably get a little bit more up close and the very end of the trail we are rapidly approaching the Afur village some nice rock formations also here as well and the village is right there also with a very good parking lot and a bus station and we are done this is what the Afur village looks like it's also started the TFA trail. Well, church and main square. And there is the bus station right below. And I absolutely have to recommend that you make a stop at this short and small bar here. It is managed by an absolutely lovely gentleman. It's open now. Let's take a look. I am in the bar that I mentioned. This is the lovely owner. Hola. <laughs> Hola. And, and you absolutely have to come in here. The vibe is just superb. And the gentleman is so kind. So definitely if you are taking the TF8 trails and also the TF9 trails, you just have to come here. Highly recommended. If you are doing the TF9 or the TF10-1 trails in Anaga, I suggest that you really take a look around the uh, Las Carboneras village. I must say I have seen quite a few of them and this is one of the most lovely ones. There is of course the stunning Anaga scenery, but the feeling is also that this is quite a large village and also still a living one. So now that there is only one street and a few houses and mostly elderly people, here you can see uh, lots of cars but also the local architecture seems to be quite nice. There is a school, there is a church, there is a community center. So a definitely very nice introduction to what Anaga uh, villages used to be like in the past. Uh, there is also a few, uh, one or two houses that are cave houses built into the side of the rock. So let's uh, take a look at the, what the village looks like. What is nice is that here you have a beautiful panorama. You see the ocean. Also Roque de Taborno, and this right there is the Taborno village. If you are taking the TF9 trail, then you will get somewhere there, stop at the Taborno village and then make one more of these half circles and end up in Afur village where you will be connected to a, a TF8 trail. If you enjoyed the video, please press like and subscribe and see you in the next Anaga Trail.